how do I maximize the sell of my property value? Hi, I'm Jose Medina with Keller Williams, and today I'm here to talk to you about how to make sure that you're getting every penny out of the house when it comes to condition and how your house shows. So let's talk about it. The way a house shows is such a critical part to the home selling process. People come in and how they uh, experience and smell and see the property is such a critical part to, am I gonna sell in a day or two days or am I gonna have to do a price adjustment eventually? So I'm gonna give you three tips um, that I give to a lot of my home sellers about how to make sure that we're not over improving the property, but improving it enough to make sure that we're getting the most out of the house. So let's let's jump into it. Uh, tip number one, typically doesn't cost any money. It's just some effort. It's decluttering and depersonalizing your house. So that's the biggest thing I think I see when I walk through people's properties is you live in a property one way, you sell it another way. You live in a property one way and you sell it another way. So you want to make sure that we're getting rid of as much clutter as possible, right? Stuff off the fridge, stuff off the counters, making sure that uh, we don't have too many pictures of our family and our and our kids and, and those type of things throughout the house, right? We want to depersonalize it so when a person comes in, they can one, see the space and two, see envision themselves living actually at that house. So declutter and depersonalize. The second thing is, um, what I tell a lot of homeowners is, I wanna try to spend a nickel and get a dime back. I wanna try to spend a nickel and get a dime back. Meaning, I'm gonna recommend items for you to do that are gonna be very low cost, but get you a high return. So it's very rare that I'm gonna say, let's remodel this kitchen, let's remodel this bath. It, those typically will not get you the money that you want to get out of the property. So here's a very common things. Uh, paint, paint is super inexpensive. You can do it on yourself, you can do it yourself. Let's go through and paint a room to make it more neutral, right? Let's touch up those white baseboards because they get dingy after a while, right? Um, let's. Uh, update the light fixtures. You, you'd be surprised on how inexpensive you can do a whole house with, with new light fixtures that aren't dated, right? Um, and probably the, the least common is flooring. Uh, people always ask, should I replace this carpet? Most of the time I'm gonna say no, unless the carpet's in really, really bad shape. Um, because you're gonna put carpet in and that next person's gonna put luxury vinyl plank in, right? And so um, painting, lights, Small touch-up stuff are things that we're gonna be focusing on to a little bit of money, a big return. The last thing is curb appeal. Curb appeal is critical. Making sure that you're pulling the weeds, putting fresh mulch down, um, touching up the paint on the outside. Think about this. People drive by the house typically before they set up the showing, right? So the pictures, the first thing they see is the exterior of the house. So making sure that that curb appeal is top notch is going to make a really big difference in the amount of traffic that you have coming into the house. So if you have questions about selling, should I do this? Should I not do this? Is it worth my while to do this? Um, that's what we're here for. We're here to consult with you, to help you through that process. Feel free to reach out. My contact information is below. We'd love to sit down with you, talk strategy, talk return on investment, uh, and see how we can maximize uh, the sell of your house. Jose Medina with Keller Williams.